Good morning, everyone. It is currently March 3rd, 2022, and I'm setting up a challenge for myself this month. I want to see if I can get Goodwills, pawn shops, thrift stores, garage sales, whatever it may be, to cover my mortgage payment for the month. I currently sell on eBay. Uh, I had my first listing on January 15th of this year, and so far, in about 45 days or so since I started, I'm sitting at about a $4,600 total for the 90-day total. Uh, after fees and everything and after my investments, I've spent about two grand or so invested into the business and I have about a $2,600 return. So I am positive at this point and there's an additional five to $6,000 of inventory just sitting there waiting to be uh, sold. So that's another expected five to six grand profit that's just passive income at this point minus the shipping. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to thrift stores multiple times throughout the month. Each day is going to be a different video. And I'm going to record my interactions with people going into the Goodwills, going into the flea markets, whatever it may be. I'm going to show you the items I find and then I'm going to show you my expected profit. And not only am I going to show you my expected profit, I'm actually going to show you how much I'm getting per week on my weekly payment from eBay. So hopefully it tallies up. My expected profit I'm hoping is going to be pretty high, but actual profit and what's actually selling, we'll see. I currently have about 460 active items. so. Uh, we'll just have to kind of see what the market does and see where the sales go. But uh, it's about time to get going to Goodwill and uh, a couple stores. So come on, join me, and let's go take a look see what we can find today. Okay, so I'm just hitting up my first Goodwill right now. This is uh, going to be the one closest to my house. So stop over here first, and I'm looking at the video games. If we can't really see it on camera, but up top there's a few Xbox One games and a few PS4 games. Nothing too special. They're all listed at $4.99 and most of them sell for about 8 or 9 so I just ended up leaving most of those there, unfortunately. Um, came over and took a quick look at some of the books and some of the toys, and I wasn't seeing too much. I always look for like sealed board games or sealed puzzles. Those usually do pretty well for me. But uh, I didn't find anything, unfortunately, so... Made my way through the pots and pans, everything, didn't see too much. Took a look at all the appliances, wasn't seeing anything along with DVD players and stuff. I saw this uh, record player, I thought it might have been uh, kind of interesting because it turns vinyl into you know, like media for USB and computer stuff. So you can make a file out of a vinyl record. But uh, looked it up and only sold for about 15. I want to say they're asking like 8, 9, year, 9, something. So uh, it wasn't really making sense for me. Uh, I did find this Xbox 360, and I thought for sure it'd be a good buy. I just wanted to test it before I left. Um, ended up looking at it for quite a while, trying to find model numbers and everything. And they were selling for about 60 or 70 bucks, and they were asking 30 for this one. Um, but and I also do have a couple controllers that I could have paired with it at home, but um, unfortunately, it did not have the uh, a way to test it because all the TVs that they had on the shelf up there were all the old school AV cords and uh, only had an HDMI cord to plug it in so unfortunately I was unable to test it uh, in a second you'll see me kind of plugging it all up and trying it out but the uh, just not able to test it so I kind of gave up on it uh, I thought about it for a little bit too afterwards I put it back in the cart and I'm walking around but I ended up putting it back on the shelf unfortunately so And uh, when I opened it up, I noticed that there was a Black Ops 2 disc in there. It was okay, free game. I thought about it. But, yeah, when I plugged in the TV that was up top, I started looking, and there was no HDMI plug up there. So there was no good way for me to test it. I started looking at the other TVs, and nothing had it. So I got everything disconnected and put back in the cart. thought about just taking a risk, but I've seen too many, you know, Red Ring of Deaths and other things. Disc not reading. I would hate to lose out on 30 bucks or so. Um... I wanted about 20 bucks for the bowling ball. I could probably sell it for about 30 or so. So I kind of uh, didn't want to invest that much money on such a small profit. <clears throat> and right here is when I decide to put the Xbox back. So get that put back on the shelf. I try to get all the cords as neat as I can back in the bag and put it right next to it. Yeah, so uh, let me know what you guys would have done right there. Uh, I'm not sure if it would have been a good decision or not to get it. I just didn't want to take the risk. But uh, I started looking at the coffee mugs right here, and I found the first pickup of the day. It's actually going to be this Hershey's mug. Uh, I looked it up online when I was sitting here, and it looked like it would sell for anywhere from about 15 to 25 And you'll see my current listing that I have up right now. And 
hopefully it'll sell pretty soon. I listed it about a dollar cheaper than the average sell price, so uh, hopefully it does pretty well and should move pretty quick. It's an easy ship. Just get it wrapped in bubble wrap and throw it in a uh, throw it in a box. Make sure you pack it nice and tight, and it's a quick, easy flip. So I was pretty happy about that one. So the next pickup I found was this uh, Craftsman pint, pint glass set. Uh, it looks like it was selling online anywhere from about 14 to about 30 or so. And it looks like it's brand new, just open box. So I listed it as uh, used but open box, and I have my listing right up here. It was 6.49, so it was a nice easy flip and good little bit of profit. Um, something I've learned with these pint glasses is even though they're in a box that have some packaging in there, you need to throw some newspaper and stuff in there when you're shipping it. Uh, it's just a uh, they tend to be easy to break, so it's one of the ones you have to take a little bit of extra care when packaging it. I take a look through the rest of the kind of the tool section, whatever you want to call that. The only thing I found was this Hershey S'mores box, but uh, after looking up sold comps, it looks like it was only going to be about maybe three or four dollars profit. It's kind of a large item, takes up a lot of space, so I ended up leaving it there. These uh, cookie cutters, same story. It's only like two or three dollars profit. It takes up a lot of space, expensive to ship, so I ended up staying on the shelf as well. Take a look at a few of these toys, don't really see too much, so end up uh, leaving most of it there, including the video game. It would have been about $3 profit, because their video games are all $5 there. It would be a good buy at maybe 2 or 3 but not at 5 I continued looking at all the books. I'm always looking for stuff like Harry Potter books or things like that, but nothing that really stood out to me. Take a quick look at the shoes, don't see too much. Um, I'm really not too big on shoes. I've had a few of them that just sat for a long time. and I know I probably should look more into them. A lot of these Jordans and Nike Air Maxes could be some profit on it. I tried looking them up here, but I was just I always get worried about them being fake or just sitting, taking up shelf space for a long time. Uh, I never know the best way to price them either. So um, all the shoes ended up staying there. So now I'm making my way over to the hat and bag section. I can usually do pretty good with some of these like golfing hats. So anytime I see like Titleist or Callaway, I try to pick them up. Um, almost always it's $20. Sometimes it's a lot more. Um, I have this one listed here. You can see $19.99. So I should be able to make about uh, $15 or so on it, which is not bad at all. And then uh, I found another hat next to it. I thought it was like a racing team hat or something. It ended up not being anything, so that went back up on the shelf. But you can see I'm looking up comps and everything right now. Um, nothing too special, though. I saw this uh, GE oil and gas hat, thought it might be worth something, but I wasn't really finding much online for it. Let's take a look at some of the bags and backpacks. I found this garment bag, and when I saw the colors, I immediately thought it might have been a Gucci brand, but uh, I was wrong. I couldn't find anything about it. I found one like messenger bag or something similar that had the same kind of design. Um, it was like Ar Armin, it wasn't Armani, it was like Armin or something like that. And it just I could not find anything on the garment bag, so I left it on the shelf. Uh, let me know if you've ever seen anything like that or what you might think it might have been worth, but I just didn't think it was worth my time on it. The uh, ball cap here, I almost got the Menards hat, but again, it was one of those that was selling for about 6 I probably could have got about 10 for it, so it wasn't really worth my money. So that was my first stop, and uh, now I headed over to one of the local pawn shops. It's one of my favorites. Uh, I was taking a look here. Got a few Switch games. I actually ended up picking up a uh, Let's Go Eevee just for my personal collection. Uh, they got it for 20 bucks. Loose right now, it's selling for about 35 so I thought it was a good pickup. And then uh, I was looking at the Xbox Ones and also that Game Boy Pocket up there, the yellow one. I was going to see, uh, sometimes they work a bulk deal with me on some of the older stuff, but uh, the manager I typically work with, he wasn't there, and it just seemed like they weren't there long enough to really cut a big deal on it. 
and I know they still got to make some money, so I held off on the uh, Xbox three or the Xbox Ones, and then I started looking up the uh, Game Boy Pocket, and they had it listed at sixty bucks. I found a bunch of them online for about you know forty eight dollars working, forty dollars working. So uh, I held off on it. I wanted it for my personal collection as well, but it just I don't think it was really worth my money. Um, it was just a little bit high for the time being. Maybe in a month or two, if it's still there, it might be worth coming back and getting. But uh, yeah, it was just kind of expensive on there. But employee here was awesome. She helped me out, and we took a good look around. Cool. Sorry, I'm starting a little YouTube experiment right now, so I got my oh, camera yeah. going. Um, how much are the Switch games? Do you know? Uh, 35. 35? Okay. For 25 or? Uh, I think these are 35. Or no, I guess you dropped the. We well, used the price on that 35. I got you. And then, um, do you guys know, like, some of the older Xbox Ones, like, what the bottom dollar is on some of those? Uh, it just depends on, like, this one I've had for a little bit longer, yeah. so I can probably do, like, 140 on that one. Okay. Um, things that just came out, it's kind of firm. Okay, I got you. Right. And uh, what's this one priced at? Have a few so right here, I was trying to work a uh, bundle deal for the two of them, um, getting the Let's Go Eevee and then the Game Boy Pocket and. Um, they were going to do $80 for both of them, plus tax, and they were asking 60 and 25 and I thought about it, but I tried testing the uh, Game Boy Pocket, and I don't think it takes Game Boy Advance games, but it just wasn't loading the initial like Game Boy screen. I wasn't sure if something was wrong with it or not, so I didn't want to take the risk on it. And also, it was just a little high compared to like eBay listings, so I ended up uh, leaving it on the shelf. But uh, now I'm coming into my second Goodwill of the day, and uh, just start looking at some of the electronics and whatnot. And... As I go through here, I'm not really seeing too much. Take a few things out of the box, always check inside. You know, brown boxes, there can be hidden gems in there. But uh, it's all car radio, no way to really test it, even though they'll sell for quite a bit on uh, eBay for like used car parts and whatnot. A lot of people need it to complete their vehicles, but just, again, no way to test it, so I didn't want to take the risk. It's obviously out of someone's car for a reason. Um, start looking around over this area, not seeing anything. And uh, as I'm making my way down the appliances, I get down towards the end over here, and I believe it's right here that I find my first gem, um, or so I thought. So up on the top there's a TI, Texas Instruments Calculator, um, it's one of the printer ones, it's a 5630, and I uh, see they're selling for about 40 bucks on average. Um, they had it listed for 10 bucks, so I knew even if I could only sell it for 30, I'd still make about 20 bucks. Well, this was my downfall. Um, it was only a $10 loss, but uh, I should have plugged it in and tested it. I did not. There's some sort of error going on with it. The number keys work, but anytime you switch it over to print, it doesn't uh, work at all. And if you take it off of the print mode, it just types the numbers. It doesn't add. It doesn't do anything. So uh, I have it listed right now for parts for $10, so hopefully I can make my money back. There's someone else asking the same for another one for parts. But it uh, looks like it's been listed for co quite a little while, so hopefully I don't have to take a loss on it, but uh, it's just 10 bucks, so everything else should kind of make up for it for the day. I uh, take a look at some of the kids' books and VHS, I'm not really seeing anything, didn't really see any albums that caught my eye. And so take another quick look at the books and make my way back the, uh, the way I came, kind of get a second look, kind of look through the shoes as well. Um, again, I'm not an expert on shoes. I try to look up things that I see other YouTubers like Harry Tornado and uh, even like Retro Rick and other people like that looking at games and stuff. Um, I take ideas from other YouTubers and I kind of roll with it. I see a lot of sandals do pretty well, so I try doing some research on it. But again, just not too much of a profit margin on it. Um, I went over back to the front as well and I grabbed a cart because I did not have a cart when I walked in. started having to carry things around, not sure how much stuff I was going to get. But I take a look at a few shoes. Again, I'm not really seeing too much, so I make my way back towards some of the cookware and whatnot and take a look, see if I can find some stuff. I found these, uh, they're called like ceramic tin mugs. They look like the metal ones, but they're actually made of ceramic. I saw that it had 529 on the cup, and I'm not sure if that's for the set of four of them or 529 each, because most of their cups usually sell for like a dollar or two dollars each. And uh, it looks like the sets were selling for about 30, but I wasn't going to spend $20 to 
um, or $22 or so just to sell it for 30 Those really highly priced cups at, for Goodwill. Usually it's not like that. I saw these sewing machines on the bottom. They are missing parts, so I wasn't about to take the chance on those. Um, new cheese board didn't really catch my eye. But this guy, it's a whirly popcorn popper. You put it on the uh, stove top to pop popcorn, and it's a uh, little bit of an older one, it looks like. But I looked up sold comps on them. I should get about 20 to $30. I'll put my posting on here. Uh, I ended up picking this one up. Looks like a good buy, and it's actually really lightweight. It only weighs, uh, I think it's under 3 pounds. It might be under 2 pounds, though. It's extremely lightweight. So I'll be able to uh, ship that for relatively cheap and uh, turn a $6 into a $20 bill. So another easy profit on there. Yeah, this uh, game board set was unbranded. I tried Google lensing it and came up as like $10 and they were asking 8 for it, so it wasn't worth my money on there. Make my way over to the sporting goods section here. I found a Ryobi paint sprayer. Um, I didn't see any sold listings on eBay. And my worry was that somebody brought it to Goodwill probably for a reason again, so it probably didn't work. I didn't want to take a chance on it. But this uh, tennis bag really caught my eye. They're asking $20 for it, so it made me think that it might be worth a little more. But uh, the ones that hold multiple rackets are actually worth about 60 or 70 But uh, looking at this one, it only holds two rackets. It only came out to about... Uh, I think it was thirty dollars so it wasn't really worth my money but a gentleman came over while i was doing this and he was looking at uh, a football that was signed and had a little conversation about this football you can kind of see i have it who is it does that look like that's it thurman did, thomas did you google lens it no i don't i think it's thurman thomas <laughs> Yeah. So let's see. Back when Jim Kelly was the uh, quarterback. If you look at sold items they on here. Four straight Super Bowls. There's 14 that sold recently. Uh -huh. There's 47, 40. Best offer accepted from 85, 199. Man. But that's what Jim Kelly and a few other signatures. Oh. Uh, it's 89 right there. Is there a Thurman Thomas on there? Yeah, these are all Thurman Thomas, most of them. Oh, okay. Yeah, all these are Thurman Thomas autographed. There might be other signatures oh, with shit. it. But about 40 bucks, probably. Damn. So, if that's real. Yeah. yeah. It looks real. I mean, I don't know. I guess he represents his company. Or Maybe. Some or someone just had a you football. Got it going, man. What is, is this your GoPro? Yeah, I do a YouTube. So. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, cool, man. You yeah. were rocking in. My son goes, hey, man. He goes, <laughs> GoPro off. Uh. Yeah, so. <laughs> Yeah, so this guy was uh, talking about that football. He actually ended up coming by later on. You'll see in the video, and he uh, said, "Yeah, I'm gonna pass on it, but if you want it, uh, ended up actually getting the football for a dollar oh nine. There was pretty nice footballs that were signed by him, selling for about forty. So I just listed it as twenty dollars or best offer. I figure if I can turn a one dollar bill into a twenty dollar bill, I might as well give it a shot. But I got no way to authenticate it, so there's no." Uh, no real loss if I don't sell it. I just kind of see what it does on eBay. You, you never know. But uh, I found these vintage Coleman coolers. And there was two of them. Um, this one, I think it's called like the Lil Oscar or something like that. Um, it'll sell for about 20 bucks. You can see my listing right up here. And then uh, his little brother down there at the bottom was another one. It's the same model number, except this one didn't say Lil Oscar on it. Um, but uh, both of them were 429 so turn $5 into 20 bucks on each of those. Pretty easy money. Um, take a look over at the bags over here. Again, I'm usually always looking for like camera bags and stuff like that because those will sell really well. But I find this, uh, it's like leather briefcase. It's an Aldo brand, A-L-D-O. And it looks like it uh, was selling online for about like 20 to 30. And they were asking five bucks for it, so I figured I might as well pick it up. But uh, when I got home and actually listed it, uh, you can see here's my listing here. Uh, it's actually going for about $50. Uh, about, I'm not sure if that's exact, but... Uh, here's the gentleman giving me that football back know. again. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate but, it. But, yeah, I see a few listings for like 50 or so. I'm just not too sure about it. Oh, so yeah. I, uh, I'm i sorry. just going to just list it and kind of see how it does. If it sits for a little while, I'll try lowering the price and we'll see. Uh, saw this junior guitar as well. I was just kind of messing around with it a little bit, seeing if it was worth anything. But it looked like that was about $30 and they're asking 20 So it wasn't worth my money on that one either.
I uh, finished kind of perusing the store, take a look at a couple shoes and whatnot, take a, another look up a couple of the aisles, and don't really see too much worth my money. There was another uh, popcorn maker right there, but that was actually going to be a, a Cabela's brand, so I went ahead and just stayed away from that one. I saw this pressure cooker as well. Looks like it'll sell for about 20 or so, but they're asking 10. Uh, not really worth my money on that one. And uh, that's my goodwill for the day. So I'll uh, show you guys in just a second everything that we made out with. Hi, how are you? I'll have to take a look. Uh, 649. 649. This one did not have a tag on it. Um, I can do it for like 109. Yeah, that'd be perfect. And uh, 949. And then there's two coolers in there for 429 each. It's 429. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and do the profit breakdown for everything. So I tallied up the uh, total of everything that we spent today, and that is going to be $48.62. So that's what I spent today at both of the Goodwills. Uh, I did not count the pawn shop since I bought a game for personal, uh, my personal collection. That doesn't count towards it. But now uh, all the listings that I made that you saw earlier in the video, I tallied them up together, and the total of these listings is approximately $192. Now this is not going to be... Um, the price that I probably get, everything that I list, I put or best offer. Uh, a lot of times I'll take a couple dollars less. I'm not going to obviously cut it in half by any means, but if I'm asking 50, a lot of times I'll end up taking 45 or 40 if it's been sitting for a little bit of time. But uh, again, it's expected profit and might take a little bit to sell, but so far we have $192 of asking price. So the difference between the two is approximately $144 in profit. And today I only hit two, uh, two Goodwills and one pawn shop. If I go to like three or four different uh, Goodwills along with like five or six different shops, I can usually average around three to four hundred dollars in profit per day. So um, this was a pretty slow light day. And uh, the next time I go out, you can definitely expect to see quite a bit more. Uh, again, not making any money on the calculator right here, but with everything else, I'm still going to hopefully get about 150 bucks. And, uh, I mean, if you did this every single day, you're looking at, you know, 150 times 30 for the month. That's a lot of money that you could make. I usually go two to three times a week because uh, I work a full-time job. But uh, this gives me a little bit of extra income. And so far at 140 bucks, I guess we can see how close we're going to get to my goal of paying my mortgage for the month of about $1,800. So uh, we'll see how it goes. And I look forward to the next video. Thanks, guys. Well, if we uh, keep on having days like this, we might only add up to a car payment. So I'm going to push a little harder the next few times I go out, and hopefully we can see if uh, we can make that mortgage payment. Wish us luck, and thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed this kind of content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the like. I really do appreciate it. Every like helps, every view helps. So uh, wish me luck, and...